right guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an inbound order and easily apply a price sheet to bring equipment in. So we're going to start off, we could go to the CRM accounts and in this example we're going to choose a customer, we'll use uh, Best Buy for example. We'll select Best Buy and we'll hit schedule inbound order. Now in this case, um, you could fill out the you know the various required fields. Uh, you have your internal notes, different service types, uh, pick up date. So in this case, we'll say we're picking up for Monday the 14th, and we're expecting to be on site for one hour. And our time window, we're going to tell the client will be between 9 and 10 a.m. Now, on-site contact, we'll use John Doe, and potentially we'll select a alternative contact, Jack Newberry. If you had to add in a contact on the fly, just hit the plus sign, create the contact, fill the field, and hit OK. Now, over here, we have the pickup location. This would be the uh, primary contact's address, or you could select an additional address that's uh, saved in the CRM. You also have the option to add addresses on the fly. In this case, we'll select the Best Buy store number one and we're delivering it back to the Razor demo office, which is the default instance of the client. Now, in this case, we'll select three pallets we're picking up and it's gonna be approximately 1,500 pounds and it's gonna be used equipment. Now, we'll move on. We'll Keep it as a quote. We'll move to the order details tab, which is right here. This here, you can fill in uh, various information. Where's the equipment located? In this case, we'll say it's a third floor pickup. We'll say there's loading dock access. There's steps. And there's building notes and BOL special instructions you can fill in. Um, building notes could be, you know, give John a call before arrival you know and a gate code is 1755 so this would appear on your work instructions for the driver you also have bill lading instructions that can appear on the bill lading if you print out that particular paperwork Pick up processing notes. This is uh, notes that will be relayed on the receive screen. Um, so if you have special instructions you want your receiving department to see, I would recommend filling in the pick up processing notes. Potentially um, look out for high value equipment. Now we have equipment and supplies. This is required equipment needed for this particular job. In this case we'll say we need a pallet jack, uh, we'll need 10 pieces of cardboard and we'll need three Gaylord boxes. Equipment notes. Um, this is if you have some particular uh, items that aren't listed in this uh, in these fields. You could say potentially if the toolbox wasn't there, you could say bring a toolbox. Now we'll move on to the calendar view. You could see what pickups you have in the week, the month. And now pricing is one of your more important tabs. This is your commodity pricing and your service pricing. In this case, we'll utilize one of the pricing templates we've set up, which is the December 16 purchasing price sheet. You can apply that and we could update pricing. So if you had, um, maybe the contract had three or four items in there, you could just update the pricing or you could update pricing and add items. So if you hit update pricing and add items, it'll add all items on that price sheet. In this case, you can see all the items are added, and you can see if there was a uh, pay or charge. So in this case, you're paying $0.40 cents for aluminum cast. If you had to adjust the pricing, potentially apply the primary price sheet and then adjust from there, you have that potential. So those are your options here. Now... From services standpoint, you could add in uh, special services, potentially uh, freight. If you wanted to charge a freight price of $99, you could pre-fill that in. That would uh, translate over to the settlement.
files. Basically, if you had uh, different uh, files you need to upload, potentially you had a uh, certification you needed to keep uh, specific to this order, or potentially the client sends you pictures of the equipment, you get to store that the files or the images section. Contract. This basically would be if there was a contract uh, open for this particular account, you could either see all the available contracts, apply it, and that would supersede all the pricing. Um, or, you know, if there's no contract, uh, you could bypass this tab. Now, from a portal standpoint, uh, this is your client portal. Uh, it's restrictive towards what's selected in this particular area. So, if this was a order that you were bringing in equipment and paying for commodities and potentially you're going to audit it but not provide that information to your client you probably wouldn't want to show them the audit report um, and you know maybe you just told them uh, i'm going to provide you with a certificate of recycling you could restrict everything uh, except for the certificate of recycling once you're done you will convert this to an order and that'll create the order in the system and all the pricing will translate from the order standpoint all the way to the settlement. So that's how you create an inbound order and quickly utilize the price sheets.